Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome so In today's video, I'm going to be doing a wash day routine Now, if you guys hear like water falling on the ground, it's because it just finished raining So, you guys are going to hear a lot of water droplets But, this wash day routine is going to be a little bit more realistic on my end Because I only use three products and I don't use any heat when it comes to my wash day routine And I'm going to show you guys how I prep my hair after wash day as well So, just like the things I do just to prep it for after washing it and for like the remaining days so we're going to get into this video now the first thing that you want to do if you like doing it i don't like doing it i don't see the sense of doing it because i can just do it in the shower but i know some people like detangling their hair so you're going to want to detangle your hair prior to if you do it i don't do it prior to washing my hair because when i put the conditioner in my hair it, just, it softens up my hair and basically loosens up like any knots or anything so I just detangle it in the shower and I know some people are like oh my god you're not supposed to detangle your hair in the shower but I do it because it's just easier for me and my hair type and my hair texture supposedly it's bad for your hair but I've been doing it my whole life and it hasn't done anything bad to my hair my hair still grows so, so I kind of obviously like detangled it just so I can show you guys now the first thing that I do is obviously after detangling, detangling you're going to want to wash your hair now I literally use one product Going, I'm going to go wet my hair and then I'm going to come back and we're going to we're going to shampoo my hair We're going to do it together. Okay, I'm back from wetting my hair now I'm starting to think that I have low porosity here ever since I bleached my hair because look I actually wet my hair in the shower and My hair is not even completely Wet and it's mainly the parts that were once bleached so I'm starting to think that we're just damaged honestly and that's why I'm going in with the Dove Intensive Repair Shampoo, okay? I've been using this shampoo for a while, that's why it looks rough. The Dove name is coming off of it. Honestly, you can watch a lot of my natural hair videos and routines, and you guys are going to see me use a lot of products because I literally use products that I'm just currently using right now. I know Tresemme is really good for like my hair type and hair texture, but I've been using Dove and it's been okay. Now this says it's supposed to help with 95% of split ends and all that. I know my hair is damaged because I bleached it. Like the front is just like picking off. <laughs> and stuff like that but I don't really care I have to hurry up and put this in my hair because my hair will dry fast so I'm just gonna bring you guys along with me doing this so I'm just gonna shampoo now when it comes to using intensive repair shampoos and all of that you're going to want to look at this you're going to want to leave the product in your hair for a while but majority of the time I don't have time for that I'm gonna be dead honest and then you want to focus You want to focus the product to the end of the hair. It's raining. And then I don't have any fingernails on, which is really good because I can actually wash my hair. Because usually when I have fingernails on, I have to go to the hair dresser and they're going to be my hair. Or like whenever I try and do my natural hair, it gets stuck in my nails and stuff. So as you can see, like the shampoo is getting into the black parts of my hair, but the parts that are lighter colored. Shampoo doesn't have like any specific smell in. I've been using the products my whole life, I'm not gonna lie. I've been using Garnier, I use a lot of Garnier. I've used Tresemme like a, probably like twice in my life. <laughs> Even though a lot of people tell me it's good for my hair texture. But... Okay, so this is basically what I do. Okay, so I'm going to wash this out and then we're gonna come back in with the conditioner. Guys, it's raining again on me. <laughs> It's a rainy season right now in Jamaica, so it rains a lot. Okay, I'm back. Now we're going to condition. Now we're going to go in with the conditioner. This is the Dove Therapy Conditioner. It's supposed to smell like cucumber and green tea. I know this line here, the Intensive Repair, also comes with the conditioner as well, but I don't know where it is. And I've just been using the Therapy Conditioner, which is here. This is basically done. Okay, so now it's time to detangle. So once I have the conditioner in and it's in there for like a few seconds, I start detangling and I'm going to show you the tools that I use. Now, if you want a tutorial on how to detangle your hair when it's dry, I have that on my channel because that needed a whole video by itself. So what I use is just basically brushes. Okay, now I use the brushes where, as you can see, they have like holes in between them and they're see-through. Now, the reason why I use these type of brushes is because water can go through them. Okay, they're much more like stronger with the bristles. And I just feel like these are more suitable for like 
in water because if you use like the brushes where the back is just solid all the water is gonna stay in the brush and I guess like it'll loosen up the bristles on it and again these might be blow drying brushes to be honest I don't know but I just use these and it works now I got these at the beauty supply store this one actually the whole barrel comes off with these this brush here specifically uh, you can buy these at the beauty supply store they're like a two a dollar two dollars supposedly you can get this at Dollar Tree now someone was telling me so that's obviously a dollar dollar ten cents so I do is I just brush you like this and I stop using combs because I just feel like I cry <laughs> so I just use brushes and as you guys can see it's detangling it so yeah that's all I do for detangle okay sometimes you have to start from the bottom and I feel like this just works so much better for my hair and I don't cry and it makes the process so much easier because as you can see there's so many bristles it's bigger it's wider so it's tackling a lot. Now, if you're someone who wants to use a comb, you need to buy a wide tooth comb. Don't be buying a small comb or using a small tooth comb, a small spaced comb. You have to make sure. I would even say go wider. When you go wider, it's not ripping out your hair, so it's not going to hurt as much as if you did use something much less. Literally all I do. And I'm just going to wash this out, and then we're going to come. I'm going to come back, and then I'm going to show you guys how I prep my hair for it to dry and just for the remaining days in the week. Probably wash my hair like once a month. The most I would do is like two weeks. Minimum two weeks, the longest once a month. So yeah, I'm gonna go wash it out and then we're gonna come back for prep. Okay, so after washing your hair, now we're going to do like after prep. So basically how you're going to prep your hair for the rest of the week or just basically how you're going to make your hair dry without using heat. I would recommend you guys not using heat when it comes to drying your hair because you can just air dry it. More natural for your hair because once you have too much heat in your hair, regardless if you put heat protectant or anything like that, your hair is just going to be affected by it. So what you're going to want to do is air dry it if you can. I always air dry my hair. When your hair is air drying, okay, just do something in the meantime, like go like clean or organize or cook I don't know just do something in the meantime to occupy your time that's what I always do do so this is how you guys are going to air dry your hair I just section my hair in four and you want to do this before your hair starts drying because once your hair dries your hair is gonna tangle again <laughs> and I feel sorry for you combing out your hair after it tangles after it dries because it's gonna be tangled up and it's going to feel like you're starting all over again sometimes I don't even care how my hair is sectioned because this is only going to be temporary. So I'm going in again. I'm going back in again with my wide tooth comb. And then I'm just gonna do four sections. Front and back. I'm going to separate this. And then you're going to just, if you feel like your hair has got tangled in, just slightly go through it. Now, you don't wanna forget this. Always make sure that you oil your scalp. I'm gonna say this again, oil your scalp and your hair. When you oil your scalp, a lot of people wonder why their hair starts itching them as soon as they wash it. It's because you're not oiling your scalp. Or maybe like a few hours, you have to oil your scalp to avoid dry scalp, to avoid flakes, to avoid an itchy head. And I just use the Castor Oil by Blue Magics. This is just what I'm using right now. And you can buy this at the beauty supply store for like less than three dollars, less than two. Yeah, less than three dollars, I would say. So what I do is, as you can see, I just put the hair oil throughout my hair and then I focus it on the ends because the ends are more dry is the most dry part of your hair yourself and then the ends maybe I feel like the ends because this is like the older hair if I really want to I, I would go in and section this whole entire part and then just oil my whole entire scalp for the whole, whole entire part I think I'm going to wet my hair again tomorrow so that doesn't matter that's what you can do maybe if you guys want a whole entire video on how to oil your scalp properly I can do that but you have to like up this video and comment down below and then all I'm going to do is either plait it or you can cane roll it. Okay, I think I'm going to cane roll the back, but really big. And I really, I don't really care for it to be perfect. And then I just twist the ends. Then you do the same for the front. So you oil the scalp, and then the rest you can just put throughout your hair. Or as I said, you can continue and then like section it and then oil it. Doing this is way better than just keeping your hair out in a, like an afro and making it dry because you have fun combing it out. Now doing this to your hair is going to give it like a temporary protective hairstyle. It's not going to make your hair all tangled. So this is just going to make the process easier. So it's going to look like this. Okay, so this is it for my wash day routine. So this is how just the braid out came out. Honestly, I don't care how it looks. I don't think anyone should care how this looks because it's going to naturally air dry your hair. 
So basically, as you guys can see, my wash day is super simple. Your wash day does not have to be so difficult. As you can tell, I only use three products in total. And then technique, and that's really what you need, okay? And that's really it for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. If you guys did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I do a lot more videos similar to this. And comment below, how's your wash day routine? Is it difficult? Is it hard? Is it as simple as mine? Do you use heat? Because I know some people use heat because they can't really comb out their hair once their hair dries. It's just so much more difficult to understand. Let me know in the comment section. I have a lot more natural videos on my channel. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Au revoir.